is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new wwe wreck and slam mobile from mattel it looks freaking sweet i've been looking everywhere for this i checked target a million times i checked walmart a million times i went to walmart last night and wallabushka guys they finally had the wreck and slam mobile and i'm super duper excited to crack it out of the packaging i mean i you guys know i've been wanting to track this thing down for a long time you can see here on the front we got a picture of braun Strowman. we get wreck and slam mobile you comes with 10 breakaway pieces we get a little braun Strowman basic figure in here on the top you got an image of braun Strowman in the car on the side you got another picture of Braun Strowman in the car. On the back, you get a nice little image here. You got all this stuff going on. You got some art here with uh, just displaying what you can do. Destroy the car and the competition. And you see, you know, all the superstars breaking apart the car. Sort of reminds me of like Here Comes the Pain or SmackDown vs. Raw. But that pretty much does it for the packaging, guys. We're also going to take a look at two figures that I also got while picking this car up, guys. So let's go ahead and crack this car out of its packaging. All right, guys, so here is the WWE Wreck and Slam Mobile out of its packaging with this absolutely atrocious basic Braun Strowman figure, guys. I don't know why they even make basics anymore. I don't know how they make any money on them. I hate the arms. I hate the articulation. But yeah. I, I honestly just just but getting into the car which is you know the reason why you want to pick this thing up I like the way it rolls you know it rolls really really nice you got tons of stuff going on with this thing you can break the windshield apart it can come off it can break apart as you see here and it's got this like translucent I don't know what's happening what is happening freaking the backstage is falling back there I mean my god guys the the wreck and slam mobile is it, it literally wrecks it wrecks everything that comes in contact with it I just sit it in the backstage area BAM! Instantly wrecks my backstage area. But what I was saying is, is it comes with this nice translucent win tra tra translucent windshield, and it does have, you know, the breakaway glass there. I hate that you can, you know, kind of see the crack, but you can throw people through it if you would like to. I'd like to throw that basic Braun Strowman through the windshield, if you get what I'm saying, or run the figure over. But anyways, here is the windshield. You also get the doors. They are operable. You can open up the doors here. I do believe that, uh, obviously, it's not I do believe both doors are operational and you can obviously sit superstars down in there which we will get to you can obviously um, well Samoa Joe was holding the freaking steering wheel can you not pop okay I was gonna say false advertisement Brad I clearly remember Samoa Joe holding the steering wheel in his hand so you can pop the uh, the steering wheel out there it has a nice WWE logo on there in the nice black colorway and this does just shove back down in here well I've broken it it eventually goes back on, but you guys can see here, we also have the seats, and they are removable, and they also have these rubber bands around it. I think I'm going to leave those in there right now, because I feel like once you take those rubber bands out, I bet they're loo like super loosey-goosey, and you guys can see how low this thing is. If you go over one pothole, you are instantly going to owe um, 70, 80 grand on your car, because it is going to bust this thing to hell. Um, when you do that. So the seats are removable as well like you guys saw. Again, they are have these rubber bands right here that are holding them down. They are missing, you know, side mirrors. I think side mirrors would have been a nice detail if they wanted to add that. They could have. In the back we do have the trunk here and the trunk you can open, you can store weapons and bullcrap in here. I have a World Heavyweight Championship. Go ahead and store that in there. Um, and I believe there's there's actually quite a bit of room. I have a steel chair right here. We'll go ahead and uh, put this back here as well. So you can put weapons and stuff. I doubt th that a table can fit, but you know you could do that. You can even load up your milk -a mania your, your cooler full of milk. You can throw that back there if you'd like. And you can shut it. And you can freaking slam it so freaking hard that it pops the effing front bumper off. So there's another part of the car that can come off. And I think the trunk is removable. You can like pull off the whole entire trunk door if you want to. Um, yeah, you can just do that. It's like a little clip right there. It's very easy to go back on. So that's, you know, real easy there. But like I was saying, the front bumper does pop off. So there it is right there. I'm pretty sure the model of this car, it kind of looks like a Camaro to me. I could be wrong about that, but my dad and Brad, my brother, both own Camaros, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a Camaro or the likeness of a Camaro because obviously they can't copy the exact body style because that will be a bunch of lawsuits and copywritten and, and all that good ish. But if we take the windshield and we attach it back to the little piece right here, that is all good there, so we'll stick that down in there. The hood is the next part of the car that we're going to cover, and it is breakaway as well. It like kind of crashes in there, which is pretty cool. You know, it's sort of like dented. 
because in reality, guys, are you going to be able to break a hood, a solid steel hood, or a fiberglass hood? In this case, it even has that carbon fiber look to it, and it has the WWE logo on there. But you're not going to uh, break a hood in half. It's just not going to happen. I, I don't care what you say. It's just not going to happen. So uh, unless you drop like a freaking other car on it, it's just not going to happen. So what we have here is if you can actually get the Degum thing out of the hole here, which I don't want to break any pieces, but it, like, so seriously feels stuck. All right, so we finally got the hood off, guys, and you can see it is in two separate pieces, um, as you saw before. And underneath here, they didn't add any really paint detail. They just sculpted a bunch of stuff in here. You got the engine and the, the nice silver tone, which, you know, that works for me. It's supposed to be, you know, a, a toy. This is a toy, so they're not going to get too much into the detail. I'm sure we'll, we'll probably see this car in the pick fed sometime or later. And you know, guys, what I should do is totally customize this thing. I think that that would be really epic to customize it like I did that pink truck. And since we have two cars now, we could totally have a freaking parking lot brawl and we could do all kinds of cool stuff with the pick fed, with uh, WWE action figure matches like the Royal Rumble that you guys saw last week. Um, we can do a lot of that good-ish. So I think that this car is gonna get a lot of usage out of it. Another thing on the bumper, they do have the WWE logo there on the front. On the wheels, they are just solid black. Nothing much going on on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I really don't know what else you want me to say. I know that we could, you know, go ahead and store some figures in here. I got Seth freaking Rollins, and he does have a black eye and some uh, some band-aids on his forehead because he, he uh, got roughed up by the Usos last week on MDT Live, and we'll see what happens with that. But it doesn't look like he can sit down completely. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, you guys can see that he can sit down in the car, so I guess that's cool. So yeah, Seth Rollins does sit down in the car, but I don't think he can put... I mean, I guess he could put his hands on the steering wheel, but it's not... I don't know, it, do, it doesn't fit as well as I would like. I would like for him to, you know, maybe I need to point his toes. So if we point the toes down and then stick him down in the car, he does fit a lot better. So if you point those toes down, they are able to fit in the car better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, I was going to say, that's pretty stupid if he can't even fit. So yeah, they, they can fit pretty well. I like that a lot. So Seth Rollins is looking fresh. He even matches the car to a T. And uh, I guess we could put Kevin Owens in the passenger seat. We'll, we'll go ahead and stick KO down in there. And we'll have uh, KO and Seth Rollins riding around here. But yeah, it's pretty... Well, Kevin Owens doesn't want to go in the car right now. Freaking breaking the hood and all that ish. So there we go. We got KO and Seth Rollins down in the car. It looks pretty sweet, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's pretty pretty freaking sweet, nasty farticles. I mean, I hate that how low it is. It's it's pretty low. I'm not going to lie to you, but it is pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool to, you know, like I said, put in the pick beds, do action figure matches, some photography-ish like that. It's going to be really awesome, I think. But as well as the car, what we're going to do is I think we're going to test slam some figures onto this thing, see how it reacts to, you know, actually getting slammed on. We're also going to be, I'm going to be showing you these two figures that I picked up back here. And how sweet does it look with the, with the stretcher? The ringside exclusive stretcher up next to this thing looks really nice. I love that. All these details that we're getting to add to the pick fed and everything. Love it, man. Freaking love it. Adds even more realism to the show and everything. So there is the stretcher. There is the car. Let's go ahead and test slam some figures onto this hood, onto this windshield, and just kind of see how it reacts. All right, guys, so we got our Braun Strowman right here. I'm just going to slam him onto this hood and just see how it reacts. All right, so it does crack, so that's that's pretty good. What about the windshield? So it does break there. That's 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 all I really like. I mean, I, as long as I add some give to it, it'll actually break and everything. I mean, I think that we can get a lot of cool things out of this and just see how it does if he runs him over here. And it pops off the bumper just running into him. So that's nice. That's really good that it interacts with you. It will break apart. Very easy to go back on as well, which is very fun and stuff. You know, if, you, if a smaller kids are playing with it or you have a, a younger son or child, it wants to play with this and you know you're worried about losing the pieces and everything it does go back together really well and yeah very fun stuff i i cannot wait to use this thing so as well as picking up the slam mobile guys at walmart i did find another top talent seth rollins and another top talent Finn balor you guys already know i have like a million of these already but they will again go to future customs and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you anytime i find one of these figures at retail i'm gonna grab it great base for seth customs great base for Finn balor customs so the more the merrier so we do have those two figures and we do have the beautiful slamming mobile guys i hope you guys did enjoy the review of the car and the the freaking slam mobile wrecking mobile is freaking wrecking my backstage area again but 
that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the review of the Slammin' Mobile. Again, you can find it at Target and Walmart. I thought it was a Target exclusive. Turns out that you can find it at Walmart. I found it at a couple Walmarts now. And I'm very happy to pick it up, and we're going to get some good use out of it here on the channel. But thank you guys so very much for watching the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed the review, or if you enjoyed the car, or the figures you see today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.